Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because I am going to be talking about the new Cricut Design Space feature, the offset feature. This has just started rolling out on Design Space and it is in the beta version right now. If you don't know what offset is, it adds basically a shadow layer behind either your font or an image. It can make a font look really neat and for different images, they're especially fun for stickers, but you can also use this offset for just vinyl adhesive, um, for t-shirts, you can use it for cake toppers. There's all kinds of neat things you can do with this and I know a lot of people have been asking for it for a long time, so I'm really excited that it's finally in Cricut Design Space. When I logged on to Cricut Design Space a couple days ago, it came up with a screen that says update and I did that. After that, I was able to see the offset button. If for some reason you're not able to see it, I'm just taking this from the Cricut website, but it says that you'll want the Windows 10 to be 64 bit and higher and the Mac 10.15 and higher. I'll put a little picture on the screen so you can see that and if you need help there's a link you can go to so I can put that in my description box. Also if you have that updated and you're still not seeing it there's a chance that you need to go up to your settings so if you click up here and go down to your settings you'll want to make sure you're on the canvas style new. I know some of us were changing it back to classic when there were some glitches in Cricut Design Space so double check that that's clicked also. First, I'll show you how to do a couple fonts. I'm going to go to my text here, and I'm just gonna type in my name. You'll want to bring your text or image down. The offset button is at the very top here. When you select that, you can't really see the image, so I like to bring this down here. This is a script font, so I'm gonna bring the letters closer together. Then I'm going to highlight over all of it and weld it together. Now I'm going to select this, then I'm going to go up to my offset button. You'll have a scroll bar here or you can input it manually. You also have two different kinds of corners. You have rounded and Cricut calls it angular. It's kind of like a square. Also right when you select offset you can automatically see a little line outlining the whole image. Now what you can do is bring your slider to the right which will make it bigger or you can bring it to the left which will make it smaller. You can play around with it and see how you want it to look then hit apply when you're done. This will make it two layers. You'll have your font layer and your shadow layer. I'm going to change the color so you can see how it looks. This is so neat and it's really easy. One more thing I want to show you with this. I am going to duplicate my font. Then I am going to go back up to offset. Let's say we want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit apply. You can see how the shadow layer is a lot bigger than this one, but you can see in here it's going to cut these little pieces and you most likely won't want it to do that. So to get around that, you can select that shadow layer. If you look at my layer here, that one's selected. Then go down to contour and you can just contour those little pieces out of there. I need to deselect that one. Oops. There we go. So I have the two little pieces that I want out of there. If I select that, then you can see it takes care of that. So the contour button can be super helpful if you need to tweak a few things with this offset layer. Now I'm going to delete these. I want to show you an example where you might want to use that angular or square version. So I'm going to go back to text and find a different text. Let's say I type in happy birthday. This is more of a blocky font. So now if I go back up to offset, then if I select this one here, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, then I'll hit apply. You can see this one has more straight edges compared to the round and this might be a time where you'd want to use one of those. Now I want to show you how you can use the offset with an image. I'm just going to go to my uploads and grab one of my images. These are all part of my membership that I have. We have over 200 images. If you're interested in it, definitely check out my link in the description box. 
So I'm going to insert that in here and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Really quickly, I'm going to change the colors of this so you can really see how it's going to look. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Okay, I have all of my colors. Now I'm going to highlight over this entire thing. I'm going to group it together. That way when I do the offset, it'll offset the entire image. If you only have one layer selected, I'll show you really fast actually. If you just have like this top part of the rainbow selected and go up to offset, it's only going to do, it's hard to see on this, but it's only gonna do around just that layer. So what you'll wanna do is either group or weld it all together. So I'm gonna group it. Then I'm going to come up and select offset. Also, there's another option here where it says weld offset offsets, or you can deselect that and it'll do each layer separately, which most of the time I would think you wanna keep that selected. Now I'm just gonna play around with this. And I'll hit, up, oh, actually I wanna switch it back to the corner. And I'll hit apply. Look how cool that looks. I am so excited about this. Now I wanna show you another really cool thing. You can add additional layers on top of one you've already done. So this I think is awesome. So what you wanna do is select that last layer, the one that we just did, then go back up to offset and you can create another one. Then hit apply. I'm gonna change it to a lighter color gray and look how neat that looks with two different layers. These will make awesome stickers. You can make some really neat shirts like this. I am really excited about it. If you are making a sticker with this, you'll want to highlight over everything and flatten it. If you don't wanna make this a sticker, I'm gonna hit undo, then what it will do is it'll put each color on a different mat and it'll cut it out separately and then you would layer it together. I hope this offset tutorial was helpful. Let me know if it was, and if you have any questions, definitely comment them below and I will try to answer them. Also, let me know what you think of the new contour feature. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in my next video.